Hey everybody, welcome back to another Horror Mystery Box Unboxing, and this came at a decent time. I've had this since Friday. Today's Wednesday, this might go out Thursday or Friday, uh, so I would have it, you know, seven days. But, as of today, it's been about five days I've had this. I have just been so unenthused to open it that I haven't got around to doing a video or opening it yet. It is the BAM Horror Select. And we know it's not been great. So, uh, let's see if... Maybe we can change things. <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm just very uh, lethargic about it. It's uh, We're coming up at cost, or even under, whenever with these mystery things we are expecting more. So I'm hoping things will change. So let's go ahead and we will rip this open and uh, see what we got. They did not place a razor blade or anything in there trying to get back at me at least, so I guess they don't know who I am. Alright, here we go. Alright, I got no idea. Uh, XO, XO, looks like nail underneath, and I'm going to have to look this up, guys, so uh, bear with me. I'll be right back. I'll look it up for you guys, and we'll figure things out. That's the least I can do. If you're watching, I could be like, there's this. Yeah, I'll look it up and let you know who it is. So I'll be right back. And, well, uh, it is Ashley Bell from The Last Exorcism. That's what this image is from. The Last Exorcism. Exorcism, I'm sorry. So, that's such a weird signature. It's interesting, but fucking weird. As you can see here. Would you get Ashley out of any of that? The reason, like I said, thank God for the uh, the uh, JSA number on who it is. And I'm hoping I can trust it. Because we know that the fiasco that is with uh, the Thanksgiving stuff. Who knows who it is. You know what I'm saying? But, we have Ashley Bell. The Last Exorcism. And I know... I. She wasn't in a whole lot. She was in The Last Exorcism 2. Uh, and a few other things. But, like I said, we're, we're getting barely at cost. I'm sure she's probably 40 bucks, And then the JSA is 10 So, um, protect her. At least 5 So, I mean, we're going, we're 55 guys. So, <laughs> I just don't know with Bam. Come on. Uh, step it up a little bit, please. We need some, we need some bigger bangers here than... I know I'm asking a lot. I mean, how many great autographs can you get at a good price type of situation? I mean, there's plenty of like $60 people out there that you guys could probably get. And with buying as many autographs as you do buy in private signings, I'm sure you guys can cut a deal to where those $60 autographs that you're getting is going to be good enough to send to us. Um, I know I'm, I'm a Debbie Downer with these past couple BAMs, but I apologize. Uh, but... If you are thinking about getting into BAM, I want you to seriously consider these past two videos and what we're doing here uh, with these guys. It's just not... Um, and I had a friend do the Funko Pop uh, mystery. They're supposed, to, they're supposed to do it every month. And it's like $119 shipped. She sent me a picture of what she got. She spent the $119 and then did that special... Uh, as you know, we were basically trying to get rid of them because I guess they had too many and nobody was buying. And they did it for 50% off, so you're paying 50 bucks. So I think it was like 62 shipped. Um, she sent me a picture of what she got because hers came in. It was uh, the guy who voiced the uh, the cat. It was on Funko from Dragon Ball Z, like the big cat with the cane. Oh god, why I can't? I'm blanking. But I did my looking up. And that thing is like the Funko's thirty bucks. We'll call his autograph forty, and then the, um, you know, the JSA. You're looking at eighty bucks into it, and I'm sure you know you got the markup on Funko's. So it's coming at or under what they would normally charge. And I don't know. I'm glad that she didn't talk me into it because she was like, "Go ahead and do it. It's fifty percent off. What can you lose? I could have lost uh, sixty dollars because that's something that's not going to my listen not going to go into my collection because it's not horror and it wasn't worth it uh 
And that's what sucks is that it could be anything. They're not saying like it's horror, anime, uh, pop culture, sports is a, is one they're doing. And I would be off my rocker. I'd punch a hole in the wall if like I put out $119 for a Mystery Funko, it get here and it'd be sports. Uh, but if you liked everything, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Really hope to see you guys next time.